I'm Andrea Doyle, workplace mediator, conflict manager, author and presenter. Now, as a workplace mediator, it's a great feeling when you come to the end of a session and you know that the immediate conflict has been addressed. You know that the people leaving the room will know how they can then work together. And I also know that as employers, not only do you want the conflict addressed immediately, but you also want to minimise the risk of this conflict or others occurring again in your workplace. You know the impact of poorly managed conflict leads to increased absenteeism, damage to your reputation and sleepless nights for you. And none of that sounds like fun. So as an employer, how can you manage this risk? Well, from my perspective, it's time for mediators to step up or step out. At the upcoming National Mediation Conference being held on the Gold Coast in Australia, I'm presenting on the topic, it's time to manage workplace conflict better. Now, workplace mediators do a great job when they can work through the process and head towards that end point where employees can work out how they can work together again. But what happens when the workplace mediator leaves. Who then helps to manage those in conflict? And this is where workplace mediation on its own falls down. And how can the employer be reassured that the risk of another conflict occurring has been minimised? As a conflict manager, I look outside mediation processes to help assist with behaviour change because that's what we're wanting when we see people in conflict. We either want them to change their skills, their knowledge, or their understandings about what is around conflict. Now, with my experience in conflict management training, and also in the area of change management, I bring the best parts of those fields together to be able to help me manage conflict well. As employers, you know only too well the impacts around conflict that's poorly managed such as the extra time and cost that it takes if conflict is not managed well early, the potential damage to your reputation as a great place to work, and also the fact that it takes time to manage conflict well. Now, taking a multi-pronged approach to managing conflict in the workplace is the best approach I've come across to date. What it does is allow for short-term strategies to address the conflict now and also for long-term strategies to minimise the risk of the conflict occurring again. With more than 10 years as an HR manager, being a nationally accredited mediator and also an experienced conflict management trainer, I know workplace conflict from the inside. And it's important that when you're looking at conflict management in your workplace, to look at it in two perspectives from a proactive approach and a reactive approach. Now, proactively, of course, is the best way to go. As far as proactive strategy go, I deliver training in, that could be included into leadership programs, or I deliver sessions that could be at staff conferences. And what I aim to do is to work on developing the knowledge, the skills, and the abilities of the employees. Now posts such as this one, whether in video or written format, also assist to expand the knowledge base of people who need to know how to manage themselves and others in conflict. Now, if it is too late for you to take a proactive approach, then taking a reactive approach is the next best step. Now, mediation is one example of a reactive approach, but there are other things that your conflict manager should be able to recommend. So after they've viewed and identified what the root cause of the problem is, they should be able to have a look at your organisational structure and see if there's anything in there that's impacting on how the conflict occurred. Is this team structure correct or does there need to be a new teamed form? Your conflict manager should be able to assist. Maybe a mentoring program is needed or perhaps there needs to be some training in leadership for those people who are taking on the supervisory roles. Outcomes from reactive approaches can be seen in a number of days, for example, if a mediation is undertaken, or if there are longer term approaches such as training, you will need to allow for new habits, new ideas and new knowledge 
to be formed within your staff and to allow for that change to occur. Don't expect that to happen overnight. You need a conflict manager who can provide short-term and long-term solutions to your employees and also to yourself. Only then will we know that we have done all we can to minimise the risk of another workplace conflict occurring. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Andrea Doyle. Bye for now.